Okay, class. Some of you may not know what an XY scatter plot is. Some of you may know what it is. Others of you may not be as familiar with Excel with, as others. If you're unfamiliar with Excel and you're unfamiliar with scatter plots, this tutorial is a way for you to better understand how the XY relationship works in XY scatter plots. In the case of what we're doing with the assignment, we want to look at how X influences Y. X in this case is fertility rate. Y is going to be a variety of different factors that we're going to visit. One graph you're going to make uses life expectancy, another infant mortality, another looks at adult literacy as your Y factor. We're going to do the first one as an example though. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down the control key. I'm going to click on fertility rate 2000-2005. And I'm just going to scroll over here. Notice I have the sides locked. I'm going to click on adult literacy holding down the control key. With that, now you can see both of those columns are selected. Now it's just as simple as going into Insert, Scatter, selecting the first one, and there we have our adult literacy. Now what we're looking at here is a bit of a trend where we see this number going down with increasing numbers here. This is your x-axis, this is your y-axis. Now what I want you to do in this assignment is I want you to label those axes. To label those axes, it's very simple as well. Your chart tools are up here. You have all this information right here in terms of axes, grid lines. All of this information is there for you to work on that very factor. Okay, class. What we're going to do right now is we are going to put in some labels. So we're going to change this to something related to fertility rate and adult, adult literacy. You don't even really need a series on there. You can keep it if you want, but if you want to, you can delete that. What I want to do is I want to put in a title below the axes. So right here, I'm going to say fertility rate. And over here, I'm going to put in adult literacy. Now this is a much better looking graph because now what we know, and we could even put that in terms of is that a percentage of the population. And so what we can see here is we can see a trend related to fertility rate and adult literacy. So that's your first example. I hope you like it.